Hey, hey, everybody, it's Eddie from Tokyo. This is your cryptocurrency update from Japan. If you're an XRP holder, then you want to really pay attention to on demand liquidity. This is really for remittances the only thing that matters. Of course, it's important all these ripple rails that are being laid down, but when it comes to the actual use of the digital asset XRP, that is ODL, on-demand liquidity. So we're gonna spend just a really quick time behind the scenes here with this ripple matchmaking site. And you can see that using their pull down menu, I can search by country and pull up any of those ripple net members that are behind the scenes either looking for someone to receive from or looking for someone to send to and it's quite interesting when that directory card is read you can see that it'll tell you who the example bank or payment provider is you'll see their status current status whether they are accepting uh, that contact you can also see if the Triskelion is down there, they are a Ripple Net member. And if they have the membership down here, the Ripple Net member, then they are a rulebook member indicating they adhere to the Ripple Net standard governance. And it'll also tell you what currency they are paying out in, as well as the funding currencies that they are accepting. And this is where you really want to pay attention. If this ODL is lit up green, it is on-demand liquidity enabled. So let me introduce to you one such company that I found on that backside. And you can see that this is a company that has been around with Ripple for a little while. And I want to just introduce to you a little bit deeper. They are sending to many countries around the world. In 2017, they were awarded this non-bank international money remittance service license and e-payment license from the Bank of Thailand. They were also the first flat fee mobile app in Thailand. So they have been doing a lot of firsts. In 2018, D-Money was transferring to 180 countries in 34 currencies. This is the founder, Aswin Flafong Flanich. I'm really sorry, Mr. Aswin, if I didn't say that well. But your story is very touching. The article that I read writes that he was the quietest kid in his class. As the patka that was on his head set him apart from the others. He was born in Thailand into a Sikh family from India. He describes himself as a minority on minority on minority. And so as a child, he was, as he put it, the odd one out. His grandfather was first to come to Thailand. He started a textile business which began door-to-door -door sales. He found himself though uh, able to build a very successful business and then uh, Mr. Asin and his father both received a very good education and he started his kind of serial entrepreneurship very early and he had a lot of experience a lot of ups and downs but in 2019 d money was awarded the most promising new fintech startup by the international finance awards which is out of london so it looks like he really found his success and in march 2020 D Money partnered with Ripple for faster and cheaper remittances. Now I'm going to look at the matchmaking card for D Money. You can see that it sits right here. And they are accepting communication. You can see their location is in Thailand. They can onboard those partners working with them in two to four weeks. 
very fast. The Triskelion is there, so they are a ripple member and they do adhere to the rule book. The payout is in Taibot, and it looks like they are accepting funding currencies from Euro, the Great British Pound, and the US dollar. But I think the most exciting part for me was to see this ODL. So D money is ODL enabled. And they are right now aggressively promoting their services with a 50% off transfers to 28 countries until the 31st of October. And recently they partnered with Wing. Wing is in Cambodia. They are a leading mobile banking provider. Now what's super, super interesting is that Wing is majority owned by SBI Holdings in Japan. SBI owns 65.29% and they do so through a wholly owned SBI Royal Securities, a subsidiary of SBI in Japan. So the Wing Bank is one of the group companies of SBI Royal Securities. So what do I think? I'm getting very close to being able to crack open my Perrier Jouet pink champagne. I can't wait. And maybe I'll be able to do it during the Ripple Swell Global. I'm in, I'm going, it's virtual, so I don't have to go to the airport this year. Uh, for those of you who were following me last year, that was really an ordeal. I'm, I'm happy that those memories are becoming blurry. <laughs> I won't bore you if you weren't following me at that time. That's a really sad story. Oh, I'm glad I can laugh about it now. So maybe, I will have some Perrier Jouet pink sparkle on ice, just waiting for a key moment during the swipple, the swipple, the ripple swell event that's going to take place in October. I hope so. Now I'm gonna to jump to the fluff, which is gonna show you that Japan loves its robots. As you know, this is Pepper. Pepper is really a familiar face. Uh, even when my dad came and stayed in Tokyo uh, a year ago in January, his hotel had Pepper in the entry uh, foyer. And you'll find Pepper in the fanciest of hotels. This is one where Pepper's greeting guest at the Mandarin. I think this is their location in Las Vegas. I'm not quite sure, but Pepper is everywhere. And Pepper is friendly and cute and has a face. It's made by SoftBank and not so uncommon to see Pepper even taking your order for coffee in Shibuya, which is my favorite part of Tokyo. So not so strange, not so strange. Japan really has a love affair with robots and especially Pepper. But on the 28th, SoftBank, also has a robotics company in Redwood City, which is part of the San Francisco Bay Area, just a little bit north of Palo Alto, south of the city. And they have come up with this robot to assist the delivery of food at restaurants. And I can clearly see this was not designed by someone from Japan because it's not cute. There's no face, there's no character. It's really lacking that friendliness. Now, it might be very efficient in the way it can maneuver around different roadblocks that it encounters when it's going through a restaurant. And it, it might function very well, but it doesn't have the same appeal 
And either I am just one that's been living too long in Japan and have become to expect this more kawaii cuteness. This robot doesn't have any personality. So I'm going to make a request to the group in Redwood City to at least give it a little bit of kawaii. cute ornamentation of some some way somehow yeah if you're gonna use a robot you have to feel like it has a personality that's how i feel all right everybody do take care sayonara for now bye bye